Hi, I'm Rochelle, one of the owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs, and I just don't like how I look today at all. This is really frustrating me, and I know that there are a lot of women out there watching me right now, and they don't like their hair, and they're going to wear a hat, and it just doesn't complete who I want to be, and maybe who you want to be too in your life. So 20 years ago, when I started the company, my hair was full, it was amazing, it was thick, and I know some of you are saying, oh, your hair looks great, it's still thick, but we all have our own story about what our hair looks like. And this is not my hair, and actually, I just wanna share, you know, 20 years ago, I wore wigs more for fun, but now, <laughs> Getting older is a B-I-T-C-H. I just want to tell you that, and maybe you're agreeing with me. But it's upsetting, and what I'm noticing, and I'm going to admit to you and everybody, is my hair is receding. And on each side here, it's thinner than it's ever been. So this is in front of my ears, and that's what I've got. That's it on each side. Awful, and it, it's very upsetting. And I still want to look pretty. I want to look good for my husband. I want to look good in my career. And just putting a stupid hat on, it just doesn't do it anymore. So I want to share with you pieces from GodivasSecretWigs.com that I'm wearing now almost every day. And I want to share with you. I think you might really enjoy them. So the first that I want to show you, this is called a mono medium top. So mono means the hair is put in hair by hair. And these are four metal clips. They're very easy to put on. I'm going to show you. So the clips open and close. And right here under each clip is a little piece of rubber. And for years I told clients you don't have to worry about the clips because the rubber gripper gently holds onto your hair. And now I'm experiencing the truth of what I've been telling clients for 20 years. I just, oh, sorry, I just want to interject really fast. So one thing, sorry, I wasn't planning to be on the video, but one thing, hi, is that where, <laughs> <laughs> I should say I'm not part. young and beautiful anymore, it's up. <laughs> one thing I just want to say is that where our clips are placed up here in the top center, this is where most women still have the thickest amount of hair. So there are other companies that do hair pieces where the clips are here and they end up literally going right here. And for most women, that's where your hair is the thinnest or a lot of women. So our clips are placed in a place where you will still have a good amount of hair to grip on, even if your hair is getting thinner. So right. To say that. And it's funny, honey, a client comes to mind that we took pictures of her. She came into our store 20 years ago very thin. You could see her scalp and we put a medium top on her. I'm going to show you what this does. Well, first, okay, hold on. So I want you to see that you can see through this mono piece, mono medium top, it really looks like scalp. Can you see that? There. I think I've got it because I really want you to see the difference. So if you're a woman that already has a lot of scalp showing, a mono medium top or a mono long top would do it. But we put a top piece on this client and it immediately changed her life. So I'm going to show you in slow motion what I just did, but do you see the difference already? Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. So this is shorter than my hair. Let me clip it in again. So I'm going to show you, make it real easy for you to see how to do it. I'm taking the hair behind my ears and I'm just moving it away for a minute. Then I'm opening all of the clips and it's really easy. They just rock. You rock it back and forth. Let me show you this way. You're just rocking. So open all of them up and then hold the top area and we're going to flip it right over right at the hairline. So I'm holding it and I'm flipping and I'm going to hold it here and then slowly 
just place those clips where I want it. And I do want to say that I haven't worn pieces, so the fact that my temples are receding and getting thinner, it has nothing to do with clips because I've been wearing wigs for 40 years. So I like that. I can tell it kind of makes sense. Now listen. And that's it. And then I'm going to brush it however I want. So although my hair is longer and see how that looks in the back wearing a shorter piece gives you a layer yeah it gives me a layer and if your hair is layered that might work but I've got a better piece for wearing with my long hair but what a lot of clients and I do is we just wear our hair back into a ponytail but this gave us the extra height so let me just make a quick pony I'm not going for perfection here I'm just trying to make some points for you to help you build your confidence. So, pretty good, honey? Looks good. Okay. So, that is a mono medium top. And if you want a little more height, you'll do just what's called a medium top. So, let me show you the next piece. This color, by the way, is Spring Honey. And because my hair has a weave, and I'm a little darker in the back, I can wear about four colors. It doesn't matter. Many women are darker underneath, and you just get what you think, and you can even call the corporate office, and we'll work with you. So the next piece I want to show you is machine teased at the root. So this is going to give me a little more height as opposed to the mono top, which is a little flatter. You can't really tease it. So this is machine teased. It will always keep that tease. And I love it. This is called a wavy long wavy, wavy top? top. Wavy top. It does not come shorter, but you can easily just picture it cut a little bit shorter. So what's the color? Uh, this color is creamy toffee R and it is rooted. And this rooting is one of the reasons why clients love Godiva's Secret Wigs. It looks so natural. And even if your roots are gray, we don't want to hear that. So another reason I love a top piece is when my roots are growing out gray, I don't want anyone to see the gray, so I just wear a medium top, and it buys me another week or two until I have to go in to get my hair colored. So I'm just going to make it easy, putting my hair back and show you. Again, this is a wavy top, so I'm opening the four clips. It's really easy. I'm flipping it over the same way and placing it just a little behind my bangs. When I get it where I want it, See how it's already trying to make sense. It's starting to make sense on me. So once I get the front where I like it, then I'm snapping the back. So this wavy top piece, I'm not even brushing it. I love the wave and it works with my hair. So let's see the back. What do you think, Danielle? It looks great. It works whether your hair is a little, you know, just a little wavy or even a little more curly, it will still work. Right. Yeah. What do you think? So I want to show you a great little look I can do with a clip. I'm just going to take the sides and give them a little twist. To mix your own hair with the piece. To mix my own hair with the piece. And I'm just going to clip the back. Let's see how I did. So it's completely natural looking. And again, it could be cut short any length, but this is the piece. This is my hair. Here's the piece. Here's my hair. So it's pretty amazing. Let's keep going. So that is the wavy top. My color is Creamy Toffee R. And it comes in a lot of other colors. Yes. The next piece, this is my go-to, is just called a long top. Again, it's machine teased at the root. 
the colors Creamy Toffee are, so this again is rooted. I'm going to open it up, open those clips up. And this is a little smoother piece. I'm always putting it at the same point, right behind my bangs. And even if you don't have bangs, you would still put it just a little behind. Right. You know. And I'm going to show you ladies that don't have bangs how to wear this piece. Thanks, honey. So I've clipped the front where I want it. And I'll give you a quick turnaround and show you when it's just down. It's just smoother. But for me, I like to leave sometimes the back clips unclipped, pull these sides up, and kind of pick it up and give me height. See how that starts to give me some height? Pull some pieces around my face. I'm not doing it perfect, but you can get the idea. Because I know a lot of women out there, maybe you, you love that extra height. So wherever you clip it, that's the height that you're going to get. So let's have a look. That looks good. Can you tell the difference in the little mm -hmm. extra? Yeah. So it's so easy. It's just taking the time and just stepping into hair pieces or wigs. That could dive a secret. If you are women that have never worn any wigs or pieces, we know what you're going through. Clients are wearing wigs and pieces for travel, for convenience, to look good in their career. There's a lot of socialites or a lot of women, they need pictures for their business. And it's very important they look great. Even realtors, so many of our clients are realtors and they keep wigs or pieces in their car or in their purse with them. And when they need to see a client right away, they're just putting it on and looking fantastic. And it really ups their game and completes their look. So I love this. The other thing I can do is I can put it all up. I didn't clip the back. Remember the two back clips. So I'm just going to make a ponytail. And I might take a little bit of this hair and wrap it right around and then bobby pin it to hide my ponytail. Pretty good, right? Looks really cute. So these are just very easy options. One other thing, if you're going dressy and you want your hair up and you love that height, I'm going to snap the back so all four snaps are clipped in. And then I'm going to make a chignon. So all I'm going to do is pull my hair down low and I'm going to keep twisting my hair and keep bringing that twist up higher and higher. And then I'm going to hide those ends. So again, it may not be perfect, but I'm just kind of giving you some ideas. This is up for you to play. Take it from here and send us pictures like many clients do and show us what you came up with. So I just shoved two bobby pins in just to show you. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Look how pretty. Imagine if I had some little rhinestone clips or something like that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like it. And even with my hair being dark on the bottom, it just works so great. So let me just show you. And I could have teased up here more because you know, if you know me, you know I like more height than this. So another few minutes. But pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Let's really. See how pretty that is. <laughs> <laughs> so let me pull out these two. We're almost done. I'm going to show you one last piece, and that is again a monofilament, but a long top. I've been wearing the last two have been longer, like this, like this, but a little flatter. So remember, the long top is machine teased, more lift. I love it. I can do anything I want with this piece. Now watch when I take it off. And you'll really see the difference. When you remove a piece, unclip, and then just roll it back. Roll it, and then slide the back down. It never gets caught in your hair. And when you're not wearing it, close those clips. Okay? Keeps it in good shape. 
the last piece, I'm doing more for Danielle because she likes a little longer, flatter look on me. So this is a mono long top. And again, mono means you can see through it. This is all hand done. So let me open the snaps. Again, I'm placing it right at my hairline. Kind of like it right there. So before I snap the back clips, I'm playing with the front. And look how great. Yeah, I like it. Hmm. It already looks terrific. So, you know, flatter is great. I'm only five feet tall, so I only get my height from my hair or my heels. So, but this is really pretty. And the one thing, if your hair is super curly, you'll want to straighten it or smooth it before you're putting a smooth top on. Make sure that your hair kind of matches. So my hair is a little bit wavy curly, so it's kind of matching with every piece I'm putting on, right? So hair pieces and wigs just are going to give you a lift. I promise you, you're going to love it. And we offer so many colors and modern styles for you, your daughters, your mothers, your grandmothers, everyone who's looking for pieces. Also, we would love you to subscribe to our website. If you're new to us, our website and... Subscribe to our channel. And then you want to um, add your email on our website to know about any promos. So you can actually right. click the little website button that you'll see on our top right corner of our page. Okay. Um, and then scroll to the bottom <laughs> and you can put your email address in. That way you'll know about our promotions. And then also, if you'll just show them how to wear it if you don't have bangs. Right. One last way. Okay. Let me take this off. But we've got over 250 videos on YouTube. So if you're new with us with Godiva's Secret Wigs, take some time. We have our own channel, Godiva's Secret Wigs, and you will see so many topics that are going to get you comfortable and ready to step in with confidence into pieces or wigs. So let's say, let's pretend this is long hair. So I'm going to take the hair just in front of my hairline, like the end of my bangs, and bring those in forward. Front in front of my ears, right. All of this. I'm going to do the same thing. I might put it back just a little further. You're going to play with it snap it on, and then instead of this hair coming down, it's going to go back. So sometimes, it, it, the most critical part of this is getting the front in the right place. Sometimes you need to back it up a little bit more, so I'm going to do that right now. And I can take my hair with the piece and play with it and just clip it just like that. And if you want bangs sometimes, trim some little bangs, go to your hairdresser, have her put some bangs in there, but that's how you would do it. Just leave a little bit in front and then take your hair and sweep it over the piece. I've also found for me without bangs, if I get it close to the hairline, like even closer in the mm -hmm. front, and just put the hair so it's parted the same way as my hair, then I can have it really close to the front and have it still come down. To okay, the that sounds great too. So I'm going to do one more. That was a mono, and I want to try it with the regular teased because as you can see, this goes straight back. So mm -hmm. I think that might even be better. We're just experimenting with you right now. So, I'm opening it up. This is a long top. So Danielle is saying put it even closer. With even, I'm saying even less of my hair even. Even less of your hair. Mm -hmm. So let me just take just little bits of my hair, like this, mm -hmm. and just place that clip. So you don't want to push back on the clip. You want to place it where you want it, and then snap those little snaps. And even just yeah, even bring your hair in. Even just like this. So that 
you're just covering the front, but you can just have it here with you. Right. That looks great, too. So experiment at home. That's what builds your confidence in pieces and wigs. And we would love your comments. Let us know what videos you want to see, but check our videos out first. And we are here to help you. We know what you're going through. We know what you want to look like, and you want to look and feel beautiful. And we are here to help you. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.